This is James Holder for the Cast and Holder Show. I'm in Manchester. With me, I've got Terry Flanagan, the WBO European champion. What's happening, Terry? You all right? I'm good, James. Yeah, very good. 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 Yeah. Wow, we're here. You've got a world title shot. You're going to be facing Zapida in Manchester. How does it feel to get this this crack? It feels great. Yeah, it's going to be an hard fight and all that. It's a t- it's a tough hard hitting Mexican American who fought highly off. So yeah, it's, I know it's going to be an hard fight, but it's a fight that I think I'm going to win. Mm. We saw you went out against Steve Orman winning this WBO European title. Looking back on that, how do you assess that, that performance? Uh, I think got on me. First two rounds I won easy and then I started getting into a bit of a scrap, dragging me into a fight with him a bit, which suited him. And then as soon as I got on my boxing, he got frustrated and I knew he was winning the fight. I was comfy on the scorecards and he knew that it was always going to be on me on points. I mean, this, this world title, you're faking, fighting for the vacant belt, is far from a given. Zapita, 23-0, 16 or 17, 17 of them coming by way of KO. H- how much have you watched of him thus far? Yeah, 20 of them is KO'd, it's 16 in, within the first three rounds, which is a hell of a record, but there's not much of him on the internet. What, what there is of him, look, the guys he's fighting just don't want to know straight away. As soon as they get hit, they, they're looking to go down. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to come. I'm going to give it, a, give it a good go and I think we're going to do it, yeah. I mean, there was a lot of talk of Raimondo Beltran being in the mix for this fight. So Peter's a bit of an unknown quantity compared to Beltran. Does that, does that worry you at all? Uh, the only thing that bothers me is that uh, Beltran was a name and people knew who he was because he'd been over there and fought Ricky Burns and I knew I'd, I'd beat Beltran Comfer and I know this is an harder fight and he's less of a name, but yeah, and, it don't bother me. It's a world title fight. You don't get world title fights easy, so I have, I have to fight who, who they put in front of me. I'm not going to turn a world title fight down. And I'm sure he won't. It sure he'd want an easier fight for a world title. It's going to be a great fight. Two unbeaten fighters, both going at it, and I think it's going to be a great night. I mean, it's nearly 10 years since Ricky Hatton captured the world title in Manchester against Costa Zoo. Now, thinking back on that night, I, I know you snuck into the venue that yeah, night. Yeah, I did, yeah. You managed to jump the turnstiles, you managed to get in and watch the fight. How, how does it feel to be 10 years on now having a chance to fight for a world title? If you'd have asked me this, like, at the time, you could be fighting 10 years from the, pretty much to the day, you'll be fighting for a world title yourself in your own town, in front of your own fans. I'd have said you was a liar, but it just feels... Great, unbelievable. It's what I wanted at the time. The adrenaline, like, I'd get goosebumps thinking about that night. The atmosphere in there. No one was beating Ricky that night, and no one had beat me this night. Coming. I mean, were there, your camps have been fantastic. Am I right in thinking you'll be training in Manchester for this? There won't be no change. There won't oh, be no, no there's no weather, change. Hot, no. Hot weather climate. No, just do what we always do train here, go home, see my missus and kid. and just train harder than I've ever trained. They always train hard, no matter who I fight, so there's no change over, so yeah, just stay on, train, get good sparring in and we'll be right. Interestingly enough, four Scottish men and one Welsh man, one Welsh man have won the title at Lightweight. We haven't had a fighter win a world title at and Lightweight yet. Fighter, uh, what does that mean to you? It means a lot, but it's not like the, the most important thing. It, it'd be good to be the first ever English lightweight to go down in, in in the history books but to win the title is more important to me rather than anything like, like that yeah it's something I've always wanted to be a world champion you tell your grandkids about it and uh, they say yeah my granddad is a world champion it's just a great feeling yeah. Ricky Hatton had the fantastic fantastic fans from the Manchester area they can't, people start to get behind Terry Turbo a little bit now. Can you envision a Rick, Ricky-esque fan base for yourself in the future? Yeah, hopefully, I'd, I'd, I'd love that, but I'd, I don't think no one get the following like Ricky got. It's, it's unbelievable. You only have to look at when, how many went over to Vegas and watched him against Mayweather and Pacquiao and stuff. So, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd love it if they, everyone could get behind me. But, yeah, hopefully they do. I don't right. know. If you deliver... On if Saturday, it, yeah, for July at, at the Velodrome. Hopefully, we can see you, your, your fan base. Yeah, of really course, well. and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great night. It's a f- it's a great fight. People are gonna want to come and see it because we're both unbeaten. Both I've got I work there. He has. It's just gonna be an all action fight. Fight. All right, well, listen. Hopefully, 11th of July, we have a new world champion yeah, here in Manchester. Definitely. Thank you for giving us a bit of time. Yes, thank you, James.